I was expecting that I can make friends with uh, people from all over the world, but actually it's not that case. I mostly spend my time with my Chinese friends, the friends I know before, because many of them come from the few top universities in China, and we are more comfortable with the life with these friends compared to the students in other countries or United States. My name is Chao Chu Li. I'm 25 this year, and now I'm uh, studying material science at MIT, and I'm a third year PhD student. I came to US in 2012, that is three years before. When I first came to US, I'm not so confident with my oral English. It's very different from China. Everyone um, tends to express themselves and you get recognized by others only when you show yourself. But in China, you don't have to express yourself in words. Well, I think now I can speak uh, very good English, but I still didn't make many friends with U.S. students. I'm not so interested in what they are interested in. I'm studying science and I know that the United States is leading the science research in the world and I really want to experience how the research life is like in US. I was thinking the doing research is a lot of fun here. Actually, I, I found that there is also a lot of difficulty doing research here. Like students are also very stressed, the professors are also finding themselves very stressful in the tenure system. I think I gradually realized the, the truth that um, only a few in the academia can really do very well. And I think to succeed in academia, you really need either the talent or the, the passion to proceed your work forward. Look back to myself and I found I'm neither so talented nor um, so passionate about the work I'm doing. I can do it well as a PhD student, but I'm not confident if I can do it well as a faculty who is a leader of a research group. I think one thing that U.S. has changed me is the way of thinking what you should do next. Back in China, uh, as a good student, you are always taught what to do by others, but not by what you really want to do. But now, in US, you are encouraged to think what you really desire to do. When I first came to US, I was still like too simple and naive as a student. I didn't think too much about my future career. I was thinking that it will just come in the way it is. But now I'm more realistic. I have been thinking a lot about my choice of career and what kind of person I want to be. I think it's not just because I'm getting older, but uh, in US I met different people. They are trying different possibilities. And I really see new possibilities from these people's life and their uh, work. So now I, I think I'm spending half of my time in the academia and like one third of the time trying to find new opportunities the rest of the time to, to my personal life and currently I'm more interested in the entrepreneurship like creating a startup by myself because I find that is more challenging and you can really achieve your value by that way I had conflicts with my mother about the future career choices, but in the end I persuaded her to respect my choice. My mother hopes that I can have a good job with good income. She would like me to stay in the United States. I think for me, as long as there is good opportunities, anywhere can be a good place for me to work in. Actually, in China, there are a lot of opportunities. I never regretted coming to US. If I were in China, 
I may just follow the ways people ask me to do, especially my parents ask me to do. In the US, I have met different people, different resources, and discovered different possibilities. That really helps me to reshape my life. I intend to go back to China yeah, at some point. That's my home country.